Hi, it's Jane with Scraptastic Yarns Podcast, and today is Monday the 15th. Um, I do have a shop update, but I hope that you enjoyed that video of me ripping out my one of my knit patterns. Um, basically what happened is I lost the pattern, had no clue what the pattern was, thought it was what I, you know, mentioned and it was not the pattern so um, it was a form of the pattern but it was not the exact pattern that I thought it was so I did rip that out um, I did restart the pattern that I thought it was and it is now in that proper sequence and order and this is the Oaklet lace shawl um, had the pattern with it so now I know exactly what I was doing um, everybody has also asked me what I was listening to um, I was actually listening to Mercy Me um, Lifer album I had just uploaded it onto my computer to upload it onto my phone you know because Come this Thursday, we're on a road trip. We're going to North Carolina for a wedding this weekend. It's one of those, it's a wham bam, thank you, ma'am trips. It's we go, we come right back. It's it can be ugly. <laughs> That's all I can say because <laughs> we're cranky. Um, do you have a shop update? Um, I think I have all everything up in the shop now. Um, I am switching things over to where because Etsy is doing you know their lovely thing to folks and uh, so I decided yeah I'm just gonna add a few more dollars to the price of the bags and you guys are gonna get free shipping um, before I really didn't worry about it um, seems every time you turn around it's he's taking a bigger cut and I probably should go the route that Cheryl and Billy are doing but for now I'm sticking with the Etsy store and I'm looking at some other options but that's where we're at right now the this is a bag um, it's a zippered bag and it has that dark blue and has a um, real pretty it's not really water tones it's more leaves but it's got some watercolors in it I've only already sold one of these bags there is one left in this um, I'm hoping that my order of more fabric did come in because I would like to make me a bag I think it's cute I like it um, I do currently have two of these in, in the lighter color with the turtles, and basically it's the same <laughs> interior, exact same color, and uh, these bags are pretty big, they do hold quite a bit, I would say if what I remember picture wise was they were holding um, 14 ounce skein, a 10 and a half ounce skein, and I believe a 5 ounce skein in them. Was still had plenty of room. Um, do have one with the birds and the flowers, and it's got a little dusty rose or peony. Um, pattern drawstring with the openings on the side so that you can have you know your yarns come out of the sides if you want to use it like a yarn bowl and then I do have a cute little deer bag and this is a, this on this side and this on the other side this will hold a Karen cake one of the 7.5s with a little bit of room does have a light green interior 
and has the mossy oak on the top. It's a cotton drawstring and um, it's a cute little bag. Um, you could probably use it for socks or hats or mittens, gloves, those kind of things. Then I have another one with the, this one I'm calling the moose, bear, and deer bag. And this one has a mossy oak interior, as well as a top cotton drawstring. And this one um, holds about the same thing, holds the 14 the ten and a half and the seven ounce and some room for other things. Um, this one is a much bigger bag and uh, it has a tan color on the inside. This is um, this one will hold the ten, the fourteen ounce a 5 ounce and a 7.1 ounce with room to spare. <laughs> it's a big one. You could probably use this when you're making a shawl afghan. Um, I wouldn't say one of the really large afghans by itself. I do have one of those bags, but that's a pretty penny when you order those. Um, but this one will hold that in a baby blanket. You know, nice big shawl. And then we have another deer one. This one's a big one as well. And it again has the mossy oak on the inside. And this is a polyester and cotton drawstring. And uh, it holds quite a bit as well. Doesn't hold as much as the other one. But you could get all of it in there. It'd be a tight fit. But you could get it all in there. And then I realized that the 4th of July is over with, but I am a very proud American, so I'm not ashamed to uh, tote my American bags all around. This is a smaller drawstring with a gross grain ribbon, and uh, this one I believe will hold the 10.5 ounce and a 7 ounce extra strings and um, that is a has like a real pretty dark blue on the inside and uh, like I said that one will hold the 7 ounce and the 5 ounce and the bigger one will hold quite a bit more holds the 14 ounce the 10 and a half 7 and uh, you could get the seven and a half ounce or seven point one ounce in there as well. Has that uh, Liberty in there? And then there is what I'm calling the Liberty America bags. This one is a smaller one. Would probably hold the five ounce and a Karen cake or two Karen cakes or two um, mandalas you know, with room to spare, has the birthday cake on the inside, and then it has a red polyester cotton, when I say polyester cotton, it's polyester on the outside with cotton uh, core in it, and it is a thinner one. That one does hold, like I said, it'll hold some Karen cakes and you know, it'll also hold some regular big twist skeins. And then we have this one that has, um, it does have on the top, it's got the birthday, but on the inside it's got the dark blue or the royal blue. And this one's a good size too. It's a great size for shawl. Um, I've done baby blankets in this size. And then the last one is the 
black webs, spider webs. The inside has the um, polka dotted spider webs. The drawstring is just a plain ribbon in the orange polka dot. Um, I can change that out. At the time, I didn't have any more black cording because I thought black would be a better choice than white. Um, but I do now have some black cording in that I can put in place of it. Um, and this is a good size bag. It'll hold a nice large shawl, baby um, blanket. So uh, that is it for the update. The only other thing is I have more bags that are cut um, with the other fabrics that I have purchased. Like I said, tomorrow I go um, over to Mifflinburg for a class. And uh, I'm hoping to have my fabric in. When I called this morning, it still wasn't in, but I'm hoping he said that he thought the truck was going to come in this afternoon, so we'll see. Uh, like I said, the only thing is the shop will be on hiatus Thursday through Sunday, um, but you know, if you order before then, I can get the items sent out. It's just... I can't guarantee that you're going to get that item within one to three business days since we'll be away. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, it is. Well, the wedding is going to be fun. I don't know about the ten and, you know, close to ten hours in the car one way and then coming back the next day are going to be all that thrilling. Um, but... It is what it is. So, uh, everybody have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow for the regular podcast. And we'll have a couple of what in tarnation stories for you, and maybe a couple of finished items. I have a couple of shawls I have finished. So, uh, I'll see you again then. Everybody have a great day. And remember, choose kindness.